Hi, Dr. Ursel here, and in this video I'd like to talk about stress and its effect on your skin. Now most people understand that stress is bad, but specifically they don't know what's happening in their skin or what they can do about it. So I'd like to break down exactly what's happening in your, in your skin and give you some concrete steps that you can take to reduce stress and help your skin. Now first off, stress causes your body to produce cortisol and adrenaline. And these are both stress hormones and they're good in the short term because they make your body stronger and more able to handle stressful situations. But in the long term, uh, they have negative effect. And there's three things that are happening basically. First of all, your skin becomes more dehydrated with elevated levels of cortisol and inflammatory conditions like uh, rosacea, psoriasis, and eczema will all get worsened by chronic stress. The second thing that happens is that um, oil production increases and this causes more acne and acne breakouts and will worsen acne rosacea. Finally, with st chronic stress, your body uh, will break down collagen and elastin more, and this results in thinning of the skin and weakening of the skin. So what can you do about uh, stress then? Well, there's three steps that you can take. First of all is to focus on getting more exercise, and I don't recommend really intensive exercise because this can be more stressful. I just recommend trying to get out for a walk on a regular basis. This can dramatically in in decrease your stress levels. The second thing you can do is focus on stressors that are within your control and you can eliminate uh, excessive media, uh, excessive news watching, social media. These will all uh, cause more stress and you can eliminate them just by turning them off. So that's the second thing that you can do. And finally, I recommend that you focus on improving your sleep because getting rested is one of the best ways to handle stress. And specifically, I recommend uh, not drinking caffeine in the afternoon or consuming caffeine in the afternoon. Um, having a good routine in the evening. Uh, start with uh, maybe exercising gently in the evening, uh, having relaxing activities, um, reading, reading novels, staying away from overly technical or stressful sort of uh, materials in the evening. And finally, uh, making your room a really a sanctuary for sleeping. Uh, eliminating the TV, eliminating your telephone, and possibly darkening uh, the windows with blinds, and just making your room a place where it's only meant for sleeping. So if you can take these measures, I think you'll see a nice improvement in your uh, levels of stress and your skin should improve. So I look forward to seeing you in another video. Take care. Thanks. Bye-bye.